Welcome to Frontend Web UI Frameworks and Tools, Bootstrap 4. I'm glad you decided to join this course to learn about the most popular frontend web UI framework, Bootstrap. We'll look at various aspects of Bootstrap through several examples. You will learn by doing exercises as part of this course. Let's look at some details next. Before you begin this course, please make sure that you have sufficient background to be able to succeed in this course. You should have a good knowledge of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript before you start the course. From my perspective, web design and development consists of two aspects. One is the design of the website and the web page. The second one is the actual building and deployment of the web page itself. From the design perspective, what I mean is the design of the user interface and the user experience, the visual design, the prototyping, the elements of uh, colors, graphics, and animation that might be of interest. In this specialization, we are not looking at this aspect of web development. Instead, we are looking at the second aspect, which is the development, building, and deployment of websites and web pages using technologies like the front end web UI frameworks like Bootstrap, uh, maybe a JavaScript framework like Angular, or a library like React, and hybrid mobile frameworks to design mobile applications and also server-side development using Node Express, MongoDB, the main stack in more detail. If you are looking at the specialization, thinking about the design aspect of websites, then you may wish to rethink again. This specialization concentrates on the development, building, and deployment of websites and web pages, a purely technical knowledge on using the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript-based skills for actual website development. You're also probably wondering about what is meant by full-stack web development. We'll look at more details of full-stack web development in the next lesson. In particular, if you're looking at how this course is positioned in the general context of full-stack web development, in this course, we are dealing with front-end web UI development, and in particular, the UI framework Bootstrap 4. We will look at the remaining aspects of full-stack web development in the rest of this specialization. This course looks at Bootstrap in great detail. We'll also look at responsive web design and how Bootstrap supports responsive web design through the Bootstrap grid system. We'll look at the CSS and JavaScript-based components in Bootstrap and how you can make use of them in building your website and your web pages. Along the way, we'll learn about web development using the command line. So we'll learn a lot of web tools that are based around the command line and the Node.js ecosystem. We'll briefly review Git and Node.js and look at Node.js-based tools, including task runners like Grunt and Gulp. This course itself is structured into four modules, each module roughly corresponding to one week of work. In the first module, we'll get the big picture view of full stack web development. Then you'll get a quick introduction to Git and Node.js. Then we'll uh, introduce you to Bootstrap and then review the Bootstrap grid system. That will lead you up to the first assignment in this course. The second module deals with Bootstrap's CSS components. We'll look at the design of the Bootstrap navigation bar, and how we can make use of it to support navigation. We'll look at um, user input through um, buttons and forms. Then we'll look at how we can display content using tables and cards. Then we'll look at how we can uh, 
include images and media into our web page using images, thumbnails and media objects. And then finally, we'll look at how we alert users using tags, alerts and progress bars. This should lead you up to your second assignment. The third module deals with Bootstrap's JavaScript components. We'll look at the big picture view of how Bootstrap's JavaScript components work. We'll uh, review tabs, fills, and tab navigation. Then we'll look at how collapse and accordion can be used to show and hide content. And then we'll look at the use of tooltips, popovers, and models to reveal content to be displayed in your web page. And then we'll look at the carousel component, which allows you to display uh, sliding information on your web page. This should lead you up to the third assignment in this course. The last module deals with Bootstrap and jQuery and various web tools. We'll in particular look at how Bootstrap and jQuery interact and how you can write jQuery and JavaScript code in order to control your Bootstrap JavaScript components. We'll look at the various methods that are supported by the Bootstrap JavaScript components, which can be uh, leveraged to write JavaScript code to control the behavior of these components. Then we'll review uh, CSS pre-processing languages like LESS and SAS. Then finally, we'll look at how we can build and deploy our website using NPM scripts, or task runners like Grunt and Gulp. This should take you all the way to the final assignment in this course. I hope you will have a lot of fun doing the various uh, parts of this course and also enjoy the exercises that you will encounter at each stage that enable you to better understand various aspects of the Bootstrap Web UI framework. <laughs>